Well, among the amendments offered here, I think one of the common themes is how do we pay for airports? And uh, it's, it's a tremendous, everybody that's got an airport or, or is near an airport realizes what a tremendous asset it is to, to have in the community. And so uh, I support several of these amendments. But the, the question of how do you pay for it, I'll have an amendment on that later that would free up more money for the smaller airports and allow the medium. Is this called double dipping? It's called <laughs> probably triple dipping, because I'm going to manage the rule, too. Maybe. Now, now that I've been called out on it, I'll yield back. Uh, some people might think it's a uh, rigged game. Uh, hey, uh, I sincerely thank all of you for your testimony and your proposals. Thank you very much for coming back. We're sorry we had to inconvenience you, but uh, you're excused. All right, Mr. Massey, of course, will be testifying from the dais. And so we're going to try and get the rest of you up there. It may be a little tight, so forgive us for that. But Mr. Higgins, Ms. Green, uh, Mr. Moyan, Moyan, excuse me, uh, Ms. Jackson Lee, Mr. Garcia, Mr. Owens, and Mr. Santos. Well, we thank our uh, witnesses for coming. I'm going to start by recognizing Mr. Massey. Well, um, thank you for letting me speak up here. It looks really cozy down there. I'd like to join you all. But, uh, my, my amendment... Uh, addresses an issue that hasn't been addressed in two decades, and that is essentially how do you fund airports without raising taxes? And airports have about, they have four major sources of revenue. They get money from the airlines who use their airports for the gate fees, for instance. They get uh, money from their local communities. Their communities can raise taxes and tax people. Even the people that don't use the airport get taxed if they use that revenue tool. Uh, they can come to the government with their handout and ask for AIP. These are airport improvement uh, program funds, and those are critical, but uh, there's only so much money to go around. The fourth, and I think most important uh, way that they can raise revenue is called a passenger facility charge. And this, the federal government artificially caps this number at $4.50. So the airport can only charge somebody who uses their airport $4.50 and no more. The rest of the money they have to get through federal grants or other ways. So if we would let them collect more of their own revenue, they wouldn't have to come to us asking for money. And um, this is a true user fee. The money that's collected on the airline ticket does not come to the government. It goes straight to the airport. But again, it's been capped at $4.50 since since for t over 20 years. And uh, so what I've got is an amendment that says that the airports could charge as much as $8.50. This is kind of a deregulation. We're not saying they have to charge that. We're saying we're going to give them the freedom to charge up to that. And if they charge over $6, because some people are afraid they'll charge too much, if they charge over $6, they forego the grants. They say, we don't want any more federal grants if we can charge $6 to use our airport, we don't need the federal government to give us a handout, and we will give up the handouts. And so we can reduce the amount of taxes the federal government collects and gives out, and the airports are generally in favor of this. So I've received encouragement. I don't want to say they've endorsed it yet until after we hear about the rule, but I've received encouragement from Airport Council International, Freedom Works likes this idea, National League of Cities, National Association of Counties, National Conference of State Legislatures. Uh, they're all, they've all given me support on this amendment. It's, it's something that's time has come. We allow the airlines to charge $50 to check your bags, 
but the airport can only charge $4.50 to let you use the airport. There's something wrong with that, and that's why they're perpetually underfunded. So um, the, the amendment's as simple as that. It is not a tax. It is a user fee, and, it, and it's kind of like deregulating the airport. So with that, I yield back. Chair, thanks, gentlemen. The chair recognizes Mr. Garcia. 